<laughs> all right, so, okay. hey guys, thank you all so much for coming to Real Talk You're today. Welcome. Uh, today we have Mrs. Mirabella speaking on being an Asian American in Oakton. And also, so everyone has your little card. So what you're going to do with that little card is that anytime during this, if you, you know, learn something about Mrs. Mirabella, if you learn something about yourself, if you feel a feeling, you write it down in your card, and then at the end, you, we are going to let her see them. So if you write anything really mean, she's going to know it's you. So don't do that. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, and um, you can put your name on it, you don't have to. So without further ado, here is Mrs. Mirabella's Real Talk. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mirabello. I've been uh, teaching at Oakton High School for 14 years, and uh, my subject area is calculus. Uh, oh, so it's just back for We're good. Oh, okay. It's just back for head. <laughs> sorry. Uh, is she in the camera? You're good. Okay, I'm good. Sorry. Okay. So I'm here to discuss a little bit about myself and my upbringing here at o here in Northern Virginia in Fairfax County, and the hopes that maybe you guys can open up to me and um, ask me any questions or talk about other things other than relating to math. So about my background, um, as many of my students know, uh, I was born in Korea, and then I left uh, South Korea, just to be clear, because I know students are asking me that, um, South Korea, and um, I, was, I, left United, uh, I left Korea when I was two years old, and then I moved down to Ecuador in South America, and I lived there for seven years. And during that time, it was really hard for my parents to adjust to a new culture, to adjust to a new country, and the customs, and the language, and the, the society, and all that stuff. And we had real, a, a lot of um, uh, hardships at that time because um, of all of those things. And then we wanted to come to America uh, in the United States. Uh, so I came here when I was nine years old. And that was really weird for a lot of my um, for a lot of people because I was not only uh, a foreigner, an Asian person, but I was also an Asian that could only speak fluent Spanish. And so that was really odd. Uh, so um, for a lot of the, um, the people around me and so forth and all that stuff. And then I, when I went to school, I ended up going to ESL. Um, and e ESL was the name of it before it was called ESOL. And at that time, I loved how uh, the American kids, as we call it, were so nice to me. And then they were so, because um, I think they were just used to having different cultures coming into the United States versus when I was living in South America, they weren't so culturally nice to me. Um, so I was bullied a lot um, because I was really different from everybody else. I was, uh, I didn't speak the same way that they talked. I didn't look the same way that they talked. So it was really hard uh, upbringing back then. But then when I came to the United States, um, when I walked into my like four, third uh, grade class and everything, I loved how the teacher accepted me. I loved how the students accepted me. But not only that, I wasn't different. Like I wasn't different from everybody else because there were a lot of, there were Asians, there were uh, Hispanics, there were like all these different cultures were all around me and it was very accommodating. Um, and so I think at that moment, my third grade teacher was the one that kind of made a difference in my life because she actually took her time out of um, her busy schedule to make sure that I had everything that I needed because obviously when I was moving to a different country we didn't have much um, so I was very poor and so I had a lot of hand-me-downs and all that stuff but my parents always had the one thing that they always truly believed in was to work really hard and to uh, always always make sure that the number one thing is you have to have good values you have to have is work really hard with what you have and, um, and for now, my parents are <coughs> super successful because of that work habit. And I think because my parents worked really hard to come to this country, it made me work very hard as a student um, because I did work really hard uh, at school. I had to come home with straight A's because my parents were really strict with me. And if I didn't come home with straight A's, then I had to find ways to figure out how I can uh, be more successful. And I always had my parents to look, um, to look up to because they would always come home. Uh, really hard working um, and so forth and so then that whole work ethic was really important to me uh, because that instilled in me and uh, when growing up so now fast forward I'm in high school and uh, I got adjusted to a lot of the American culture um, I saw a lot of my students uh, growing up and you know just being around them and everything and sometimes when I have a new class I would see some of my students I see myself in them and I always wanted to, you know, just go up to them and be like, hey, you know, everything's going to be okay. 
you're in this different country, you're in this different culture, you have this different language, um, but just know that if you have really good work ethics and, um, and really just, have, just be a good person and get to know other people and just be open-minded that you're going to be okay. So um, here I am, uh, and now that I am a teacher, I've been, as I mentioned before, I've been teaching for 14 years, um, I want to make sure that all my students know that yes, I want to be a good teacher to them, teaching math and everything, but also to let them know that um, I'm always here for them, um, and I see a lot of myself in every single one of my students, would it be academically, would it be involving in sports, would it be just culturally. So that's the goal of me uh, having this real talk and just making sure the students understand that I'm here for them other than just being their teacher. So that's it.